everybody. I'm Melissa. Welcome back to cloudmom.com. This is month 21 with your toddler and with my toddler, Bracey. How much should my 21 month old be talking? Boys tend to develop language skills a bit later than girls, but in general, a toddler this age has a number of words. Some experts say between 20 and about 50 words. Again, there's a huge range of normal and some children are not anywhere near this number of words at this point. Right now, Bracey is saying, mom, mom, with a nice M at the end, agua, agua, bye-bye, bye-bye, moon, 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 and a bunch of animal sounds like ruff, 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 ruff. nay, 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 and for pick. I'd say that Bracey has around 10 words. The amount of words he is saying has changed a lot since last month. He's speaking a lot more. With that said, Bracey's pediatrician has told me that with most toddlers, you really see a huge development when it comes to speech and the number of words after the age of two. Apart from vocabulary, many 21-month-old toddlers are able to follow two-step directions, such as bring me that or go there with this. If you are concerned about your child's language development, contact your doctor. Early intervention is crucial. How can I encourage my 21 month old to talk? Narrate everything that you do, sing, read as many books as you can, talk about concepts, talk about nature, try to introduce opposites, colors, animals. Just try to keep your day as language rich as you can. Here are a list of other recommended activities when it comes to developing your 21 month old toddler's speech. Repeat things. Say things like, are you wearing boots today? Wow, you are wearing boots today. Use simple instructions and keep them short so that they're easier for your toddler to understand and respond to. Try playing a game such as where's my this and encourage your toddler to touch their knees, their toes, their elbows, and different body parts. Limit TV time to no more than 30 minutes if you can. Don't put on the TV at all. It's much better for your baby to be hearing words from your mouth or from books than it is to be hearing language through a television set or a phone. Breezy's new favorite pastime is bringing me things that I don't actually need in that moment. You know, a book, a diaper, a shoe, and it's really, really cute. And it actually got me thinking that what he's observing is adults passing objects back and forth. So this is a really interesting form of communication because he's trying to be helpful in bringing me these things. So whether I need them or not in that moment, I just try to thank him by saying, Breezy, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And to look at it as a good opportunity to talk about that thing and whether or not it's useful and to encourage him to engage in this sort of activity because it's really very, very cute. And this is basic interaction between human beings and he's already understanding the fact that he can help other people out or be useful to people which is a really really great thing my doctor told me that when i see this sort of activity to just keep reiterating the words of the objects that he's bringing to me such as thank you so much for bringing me that book i'm so glad you brought me that red book or thank you so much for bringing me those shoes or whatever might be the case of what he happens to be bringing to me the whole thing makes me laugh because i have a bunch of teenagers now and they certainly never seem to want to bring me anything at all. In addition to books, blocks, trains, puzzles, and all sort of other manipulatives, here are some other great activities you can try with your 21 month old when it comes to Play-Doh. Try Play-Doh cupcakes where you can put the Play-Doh into little cupcake tins or containers and have your toddler sample decorating them with things like straws. Try nature Play-Doh where you take pine cones, leaves, branches and other things from nature and have your toddler imprint them into the play-doh try to cut out basic forms using cookie cutters such as a star a moon a heart a clover things like that and try to smush it up play-doh where you create little balls of play-doh and your toddler just goes around smushing them up physical activities for a 21 month old toddler most 21 month olds can run squat or throw a ball underhand breezy's actually throwing balls overhand. He's gotten a lot of practice with this with his older siblings. Try playing with balls a lot, tossing them back and forth. This is great for hand-eye coordination and for fine and gross motor skills because your toddler is using their fingers and they're using their entire arm and their legs as they throw. Other great physical activities include 
running, hopscotch, jumping, going up and down the slide, climbing onto the jungle gym. And here's a list of some new activities that are classic, inexpensive, and based on household objects that you can just do around the house. Number one, a pillow walk. Line pillows down your living room and walk on them. This is great for your toddler to practice their balance and their coordination. Number two, a ball slide. Take a tray, put it against your sofa, and have your toddler practice having balls drop onto that and seeing them go down. Number three, follow the leader. Try different forms of fun little physical games, such as, you know, downward dog, uh, goddess pose, chair pose, child pose, stretching. You can try clapping. You can try galloping around like a horse. Anything to get your toddler moving and talking. Try household chores like sweeping, putting spoons into the dishwasher, wiping off the table, and wiping down or drying a plate. Mm. Try finding the apples and oranges where you plant apples and oranges around your house and your toddler has to run around finding them. What should my 21 month old be eating? A wide variety of fresh unprocessed foods. Try to avoid white flour, try to avoid white rice, avoid white pasta. You wanna give fresh fruit over canned fruit or frozen fruit. You wanna give fresh vegetables. You wanna aim for wholesome cheeses that are not processed cheeses, such as ricotta, gruyere, cheddar. You wanna aim to give a good amount of milk every day. My doctor tells me three glasses of whole milk a day. You can give a bit less if you're giving a lot of other dairy. And you wanna have at least two protein servings per day. And you can combine these by doing things like cherry tomatoes with ricotta cheese, or by putting vegetables into your meat, or by putting a protein like a peanut butter or an almond butter on top of a banana. Just keep it varied, keep it rich, keep it healthy, and keep it fresh. What is the schedule for a baby this age who is breastfeeding or taking milk? Again, you can vary the schedule based on your needs. You can start earlier, you can start later. At this point, you're on one nap, you wanna have regular snacks, regular meals. So assume you start your schedule at 7 a.m. You breastfeed your baby at that point or you give breakfast followed by a milk feeding. At around 10 a.m. you're having snack. At 12 p.m. lunch followed by a nap. And after the snack at 10 p.m. and definitely after the lunch at 12 p.m. consider giving a bit of milk or some dairy in addition to what you're feeding your baby. Your baby should sleep from around one to three. They could have a one and a half hour nap. They could have as long as a three hour nap. By 3 p.m. you wanna wake your baby up. That's a good time for a snack. Try breastfeeding if you're still breastfeeding. Otherwise you can give a snack with a little bit of dairy. Dinner can be at around 6.30 p.m. 7.30 p.m. could be a final milk feeding. Brush your baby's teeth and then it's down for night night. 21 month old sleep regression. Sleep regression happens when a toddler or a baby who previously was a really good sleeper starts to do weird things like wake up in the middle of the night, not go down for their nap. And this is a really difficult and depressing thing to deal with as a parent because just when you feel like you've overcome a really big hurdle and your life is getting a bit easier, you feel like you're then sliding back into a position you were in before. So it's really frustrating. I've dealt with this a lot with my kids. It often is accompanied by a growth spurt, says my doctor. The key thing is to stick to a regular schedule and try, if you can, to be home a little more so you can control things a little more. But try to get your baby up at a regular time. Try not to let your baby nap too long or too late during the day. My doctor says 3 p.m. Try to put them down at a regular time at night. And I've seen with the sleep regression that when I stick to a routine like this, that things even out and my baby goes back to a good routine. I am crossing my fingers for you guys. How much does the average 21 month old weigh and measure when it comes to height? The average 21 month old baby boy weighs 25 pounds, five ounces, which is 11.6 kilos. And the average baby girl weighs 24 pounds, nine ounces, which is 11.3 kilos. The average height for a 21 month old is 32.9 inches for girls and 33.5 inches for boys. At his 21 month old checkup, Bracey weighed approximately 11.3 kilos, which is 24 pounds, nine ounces and he measured 82.5 centimeters, which is 32.5 inches. He was just one inch under the average height for boys and eight ounces above the average weight. Neither Bracey's height nor weight had increased significantly from the prior month, but his doctor was not concerned. Should my toddler visit the doctor at 21 months? Not unless your doctor 
doctor has something specific that they would like to check out or that you would like for them to check out, Bracy does continue to go every month since he was a preemie and he will continue to do that until he turns 24 months or two years old. The Bracy update, Bracy greatly enjoyed the month of June. The big highlight was more time outside, swimming with his siblings, getting outside to the park and playing inside with a lot of his new favorite toys which are toys he started to enjoy more than he had when he was littler because he was able to manipulate them more. So that was a big fun thing for mom to see. Getting his feet wet in one of his first puddles was particularly fun. Swimming in a nearby pool with his own goggles was also fun, although Bracey got a little chilly. At home, again, sorting shapes, playing with Play-Doh, and hanging out with his siblings were the high points of the month. Thank you guys so much for watching, and see you back next month for month 22. Thank you.